Hey, fifth graders. Here is, uh, what is this? This is 12-1. Uh, 12, 12 what page is this? This is page 490. And uh, the first thing it's talking about is some frogs can jump 11 and a quarter feet. What are some of the other ways to describe that same distance? So I grabbed a picture here, as you can see on the right, of, uh, of the frog jump from last year. Do you guys see the frog in there? Do you see the frog in the picture? It took me a moment to see it. Um, but this young man, and I don't remember his name, should have written it down. You can see his frog right there. Uh, his frog jumped over 18 feet. So uh, I was looking at what they had written in our workbook and I was thinking, wait, I think the Calaveras frog jump has frogs that jump a whole lot, a lot further than that. Anyways, um, here it says one foot equals 12 inches. One yard is three feet. One mile is 5,280 feet, but it's also uh, 1,760 yards. All right. That might be some information that will come into play as we go through this chapter. So the example to give here is says to change larger units into smaller units you always multiply and to change uh, smaller units into larger units you always divide and so they give us an example here so in this one we have uh, how would you convert 11 and 1 quarter feet um, into inches and you just simply multiply 11 and 1 quarter by 12 and you're going to get 135 inches the example just to the right of that it says um, you want to convert uh, 11 feet into yards and feet. And uh, so 11 feet is how many yards? Well, there's three feet or three yard. Wait, <laughs> there's three feet in a yard. I had to think about that for a moment. And uh, so 11 feet, that would be nine or three yards. Okay. And what's left over? Two feet. And that's what they have right down there. All right, um, let's go to the next page. So this is the guided practice here. Let's do, uh, let's do a couple of these together. So it says, if you want to convert yards to feet, what operation should you use or would you use? Well, just go back to the page we just did. And uh, they give you an example there. Remember, you're going to be going um, from yards, something larger, to something smaller. Okay, and in this one, you're going from, number two, you're going from feet, something smaller, to something larger. So go back to the previous page, and you'll know whether it's multiplication or division for one and two. Uh, number three here, it says, uh, what are some of the tools you could select to measure length? Explain when you could use them. Okay, well, how about, uh, how about a ruler? Okay. And, uh, or a tape measure. And a tape measure. Okay. Um, and you could what? let's see here explain when you would use them um, well let's see a ruler four inches uh, a tape measure uh, four feet okay uh, Let's see here. How do you know? In four through eight, convert each unit of length. Well, the first one's pretty easy. Nine feet is what? Three yards. Okay. Um, number eight's a little bit harder. You're going from inches to feet. So think about what you're going to divide it by. And uh, I touched on this with uh, the classes this morning when we were in Google Classroom, but 219, okay, you're going to be dividing that, 219, okay, you're going to divide that by 12, all right? And uh, you're going to end up with 18 feet. And how many inches left over? So it's 3 inches. So, um, or... 
it's going to be 18. Okay, 18. I'll write in a little bit smaller so it'll fit. And then um, they're looking for a fraction. 18 and what? Not 18 and 3 inches because 3, 3 is not a fraction. Okay, but how would you convert 3 into a fraction? What part of 3... I'm sorry, what part of 12 is 3? In other words, how many times does 3 fit into 12? So it's 18. It's um, 18 and 1 quarter feet. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's go down a little bit lower. Nine and ten complete the table to show the equivalent measures. Well, one foot is what? Twelve inches. Two feet is twenty-four inches. I think you could finish nine. Number ten. One yard is what? Three feet. And then how many yards is six feet? Well, that's two. I think you guys can finish those on your own. Eleven through sixteen again convert. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's look at number 15. So 12 and a half feet is how many inches? Well, first off, how many inches are in one foot? 12. So you're going to have to multiply 12 and one half by 12 to get how many inches that would be. And uh, well, what's 12 times 12? You guys should know that by now. When we've been doing mental math pretty much all year. That's 144. Okay, so I'm just going to write that over here, uh, 144, all right, 12 times 12 equals 144. But it's not just 12, it's what, 12 and 1 half. Well, if we're multiplying it by 12, we took care of that, but what's 1 half times 12? 1 half times 12, okay. Well, one way to look at it is what's half of 12? Well, half of 12 is, is 6. Another way, if you didn't know that off the top of your head, is to go ahead and multiply them. So what would we do with 12? Well, 12 would become 12 over 1 if we want to multiply a whole number by a fraction. Remember that? Just put a 1 underneath that whole number, and that turns it into a fraction. So 1 times 12 is 12. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 under 12, or 12 over 2, would be 6. The same thing. Okay? So we need to add 6 to that 144. So what do we end up with? Um, the answer to number 15 uh, would be 150. Because 144 plus 6 is 150 inches. All right? Uh, 17, 18, 19, which one's larger? Um, well, 1 mile and 40 inches. Wow. Well, first off, in fact, you guys might want to use a calculator for that one. I would. How many feet are in a mile? 5,000. Let me change that color. Okay, 5,280 feet in a mile. Okay, how many inches is that? How many inches is that? Well, <coughs> excuse me, what do you have to do? 5,280 times what? 12. That'll give you a number. That'll tell you how many inches it is. So, what you want to do is convert, okay, you want to convert this to inches, and then convert this to inches, and then whichever one has more or less inches, that'll tell you which way to put the sign, less than or greater than. And so when you're comparing two, uh, two numbers like that, that's what you have to do is convert them to the same thing. So this one's in inches, so convert these to inches, and then you'll know which one's larger. This is in feet, this is in yards. Well, 
I would probably just convert the three yards into feet. And that would help you answer that one. All right, so sometimes when they ask you to compare numbers like that, like they're doing in 17, 18, and 19, you'll have to convert them. So they have the same uh, measurement, and then you can tell which one's larger or which one's smaller. Okay, um, which number would be greater? I'm on number 20 here. Which number would be greater? The height of a tree in feet or the height of the same tree in yards? Now they're talking about numbers. So which one's a smaller measurement? Is it feet or yards? I think you can answer that one. 21, the dimensions of the nation's smallest post office are 8 feet 4 inches by 7 feet 3 inches. Why would you use the measurement of 8 feet 4 inches instead of 7 feet 16 inches? Okay. Well, um, why would you use 16 inches? Well, that wouldn't make any sense uh, because 16, 16 inches um, is equal to one foot. What's left over? Four inches. Okay, that's why. Wouldn't make any sense. 22. Roger earns $24 a week from mowing lawns. He spends one-sixth of his earnings. That's one-sixth of 24. Well, what's one-sixth of 24? I don't know. You have to multiply it by 24 to find out. On lunch, and two-thirds of his earnings on music. Well, so that's two-thirds, also times 24. Wow, that's a lot of his earnings on music. He likes music. Okay, so whatever those answers are, what would you do? Because they ask, he saves the rest. How much? How many dollars does Roger save? Well, whatever answer you get, what do you do? You add them together. Okay, and this number here, after you add those together... Oh, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let me uh, back up a little bit here. I almost made a mistake. Um, you add those together, like I said, and I'm just going to randomly pick a number. Okay, he earns $24 a week, and let's say between the lunch and the music, um, it's, I, I'm guessing here, I'm just going to say, let's say it's $18. Okay, so he spends $18. If he spends $18, what does he save? He saves $6. Okay, now, I'm not saying 18 is the right answer. I haven't done the problem. I have no idea if it's the right answer or not. So, um... That's how you would do it. You're going to add those two together, and then you'll subtract that from 24. And what's left over is what is what he saves, if that makes sense. I think it does. And if it doesn't, then you guys can ask me in the office hours. 23. Um, Ariana has uttered 44 peaches. She has to pack nine boxes with an equal number of peaches. How many peaches should she pack in each box? Well... 144, okay, 144 divided by what? How many in each box? Nine, okay, that'll tell you. 24, um, how do you convert 180, 108 inches to yards? Well, you guys should know how to do that, 108. Okay, 108. Uh, first thing you're going to do is Oops, um, you need to convert it. Whoops, uh, well, let's see here. Undo, undo. Let's see here, let's do this. Do it that way, whoops. If I erase it, then it shows the black background. Let's go back to this. How do you convert 108 inches to yards? Well, first you need to do is convert it to the next step up which would be feet. So it's one, 108, okay, is how many feet? We'll divide that by 12. And then however many feet, okay, um, we'll tell you how many yards it is. And remember there's three feet, three feet, two, one yard, okay? And 25, the last one, 
Um, well, not, not the last one, actually. It says, uh, what is an appropriate customary unit to use when measuring the length of a driveway? Justify your answer. Well, uh, would you use inches? I wouldn't. I would probably use yards. Why? Well, um, uh, let's see here. An inch is much too small. A mile is much too big. You can put that in your own words, or you could use what I just said. <laughs> I'd be fine with either one. 26 and 27, you guys can do those on your own. So that's it. There's your math video for today for 12-1. And we'll go over these answers tomorrow. And I'll see you guys, if not this afternoon, I'll see you uh, tomorrow morning.